Captain's blog, Tuesday, May 31st, 2011. I have done science, and I'm pretty damn chuffed about it. Check this out. Okay, so we had, had a little current limiting problem yesterday, and that, by the way, is today our maximum amp draw, 86.3 amps, because I figured it out. I figured it out, and I am well pleased. This is what I did. I put, okay, we've got this transformer, 480 volts, single phase. Now I ran this transformer, which is a 480, 240 buck boost transformer, in series with it. You can see the power comes in on our cable, out to the transformer thing, through this transformer, back through the cable, doo -doo -doo, and out. Now this, on the low voltage side, whoop, right into there, into our little current inductor. Okay, now this, this thing's crap, but we've had it for a million years, and it works. So it's what I'm using now, and these are our measurements. There are eight notches on that dial on the front. You can see the dial. Now, at notch one, we draw 13.5 amps. Notch two is 18.3 amps. Notch three is 19.3 amps. Um, notch four is 23.1. Notch five is 31.6. Notch six is 44.3. Notch seven is 57.2. And notch eight is 86.3 amps. So I've got it down comfortably at three, so we're under the 20 amp line. We've got 60 amps on the cable safely. We're down at 20, which gives us a beautiful safety factor, and it works wonderfully. In fact, I will show you guys just how good it works here. We'll give it a kick. Give it a little swing. Whoop. Okay, now we get the dog out of the cage. Dog out of the cage, go on, go on, go, go. And now we go back here to our panel. Hang on a second. Gotta get the key. Key in, visually check the cage is clear, power on, clear! Now, watch this, right over there. Oh yeah, it looks good. And I can do that all day long, no problem. Boom! Our transformer is rated for a one hour continuous load. So, all is safe and happy. And that's my accomplishment for the morning. It's the first thing I did. Just, I had that idea last night, hey, I bet I can hook them up like this. And it's kludgy and it's ugly and there's, there's crap all over the floor. But that's what it looks like when you're doing real science. You better make a bit of a mess. Especially if you're in chemistry. Those guys, those guys are creepy. So, yeah, more as it happens. <laughs> All right, so uh, you may have noticed there's something going on with my forehead today. And uh, yeah. All right, so the other day I'm sitting around bored. I had some time to kill and I watched the Daredevil movie, which, you know, is a cool movie. I've seen it a couple times. And he got that, that uh, sniper dude, uh, his name's Bullseye, right? So they got this really cool toy that uh, it, it's like a Ziploc thing with a little vacuum pump and you can put it on a baggie and it sucks all the air out of the baggie so you don't get freezer burned or something. I don't know. It's really cool. It's a kitchen science thing and I just think it's neat. So I got bored and I put it on my arm and I pulled it out and I was like, hey, it makes a little bullseye thing. You know, it looks like a, a star target. So I put it on my forehead and I was just screwing around because I did it on my arm and it only lasted for a second. Well, I did it on my forehead and it's been there for like two days now. The funny thing is, it's been there for two days and this is the first day anybody noticed it. So now you guys know why I'm walking around. It, it, yeah, I got, just think of it as like I'm a turbo Catholic or something. I don't know. But yeah, I got, <sighs> boy, 1752 hours and while emptying Gaylords in the MDH and unpacking, I discovered something that made my whole world better. We just went from having Gemini working in give or take three months to give or take three weeks. And Paul, you need to get back into town quickly because I found something buried in the bottom of a Gaylord. That, that is our synchronous rotary spark gap. This is the main gap. It's the best one we've ever made and we're going to be building much better ones, but this is the gap we have and it works. And this will easily handle, oh, 20, 30, 40 kVA without any problems. So check it out. Here we go. I'll arm the system. Right there. Spark gap. Watch the gap. I 
she goes. Gap is on. Whirring happily away, not quite sitting level on the floor, but it's got a bit of a vibration. Needs things adjusted a bit. We never notice that when it's running because whenever the gap's running, there's other noise in the room. So, the gap works. It still has the thermal issue it used to, so it's only going to work for short runs. It needs a lot of love and attention, but it's enough to get us where we can do short runs and get the system up and running and tuned, and we'll have to build a new gap, which we'll be able to do in our brand new machine shop, which should be arriving any minute now. So, that's cool. That, that makes my whole world better. We have a rotary gap, and now everybody can start getting very excited because lightning is just around the corner. Have fun, more as it happens.